Hello dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. I want to share with you a message that I want to call that uh, you are delivered. You are delivered. I'm speaking to you that are Christians. To you that believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You are delivered. You were once a prisoner. You were actually, we were all prisoners of the devil when we were born in this world in a, in a real, real sense. Because the world is sinful and we were born in it and we became sinners. And so it was that we were faced with a dark hour. But the Lord gave us light. And we found the Lord Jesus. And he's removed us sins from us and has forgiven us and has delivered us from the power of the enemy. And we're walking now as free men and women born by the precious blood of Christ and washed in that blood and, and uh, anointed of the Holy Spirit. And so it is that we find that this is a truth. We're delivered. Over in Isaiah, the 61st chapter, verse 1, it says, The Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Now, he's anointed me to preach the gospel to you. And some of you have found the Lord because of the preaching of the word. And I thank God for that. But there are many of you have already found him in other days and years of your life. But it was still good to hear the word of the Lord. He has sent me to all oh, praise God. He has sent me to uh, redeem the uh, uh, God and preach the gospel to the poor. That's deliverance. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. And so it is that I feel that it's mine to, to bind up those that are brokenhearted. And to you that are brokenhearted, let me just say this. God loves you, and the hand of the Lord is upon you. Believe in Him, and you're safe forever. Believe in Him, and you'll never die. Believe in Him, and you're going to go through this tribulation you're facing. Believe in Him, and you'll keep on rejoicing, just as you're doing now, perhaps. Amen. He, he, has, he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. And so it is that all of us as Christians, sooner or later we face broken heart, a broken heart, but always we're delivered. And then it says, we are not only that, but we, we have, uh, he has set the captives free. The Lord has set you free. You were once a captive to sin. You were a captive to worry, fear, hatred, all kinds of sins, all pride, and all kinds of covetousness and waywardness and impatience <laughs> and praise God you're delivered you're delivered you are set free from your yeah, as captives you were captive to these sins and uh, they were they were your master couldn't help it but now you're born again and you have a new master and his name is Jesus and you have new laws to live they're the laws and words of the Bible and they become new law for you. And you want to live it because you love the law now. You love the law and you love the Lord. And so praise God. Here are some things that you're delivered from. Hallelujah. You're delivered from them. You're delivered from, some of you have delivered from sickness and disease. Oh, hallelujah. And some of you are delivered from, from all kinds of trials and troubles in your home or on the job or wherever you go, you've been delivered. And if you're in the, in the throes of trouble right now, you're going to come through because he is going to deliver you. Amen. And then we know this is truth. This is truth. And then we find out again in the book of Psalms, it says that uh, the... Uh, uh, no, no, this is in John. Jesus said to his disciples uh, regarding the Bible, he said, you shall continue in my truth. Read it. And he said, the truth will set you free. And so the Bible sets us free and delivers us. We're delivered with scriptures. Certain scriptures have delivered me from pain and, and, and sorrow and from worry and fear and despondency. Uh, one of those scriptures is in Isaiah 41.10. Uh, fear not, for I am with you. Be not afraid, for I am your God. Isn't that good? And I am 
with you, and I will deliver you and strengthen you and help you. And I read that, and I'm strengthened, and I'm helped. I will strengthen you and help you and uphold you with my righteous hand. That's a good one. Hallelujah. Another good one is over in, in the book of, uh, of John in the 14th chapter. Jesus said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Now, the Lord Jesus has promised that. And he's promised it to you that believe in him. So believe in him and don't be afraid. And don't worry anymore about whatever is bothering you because he said, I'll be there and I'm going to comfort you. And I believe he's comforting you right now with that word. I will comfort you. I will not leave you comfortless. But I will come to you. And he's coming to you right now to help you, to get through whatever you're facing. God is your strength and portion. He is your help and, and I hope forever. Praise the Lord God. You are delivered. And then, oh, I love this scripture. It's in Galatians 2.20. And it says, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. This is a, a letter from Paul. I'm crucified with Christ. That means I died with him, that old evil nature. And I'm born again. I died with him. I was crucified. Uh, nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. That's it. That's the secret. Christ lives in me. And the life I now live in, the, in my body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me, gave himself for me. Hallelujah. That's a great scripture, Galatians 2.20. And so may the Lord bless it to your heart. May I thank God that some of you are going to read that scripture and say, Praise God. He's blessing it to my heart. And the hand of the Lord be good upon you. And all these scriptures are good. They're all good. Just read your Bible. Believe the book. Read the word. And drink from its waters. And go on with its strength and its light and its hope. And praise God is covered in God's love. And so this is the way we are to be delivered. You are delivered. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. All oh, great things he has promised through Jesus the Son. Oh, praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And let the people rejoice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Oh, come to the say, Father, through Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he has done. Amen. Maybe you'd like to sing it with me. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. And let the people rejoice. Oh, come to this Father through Jesus the Son. And give him the glory, great things he has done. Amen. God loves you.